I would say one of our uh, greatest developments over the last 12 months is Liberia's agreement with China. It was a diplomatic agreement that uh, is really going to save ship owners a lot of money. The agreement uh, calls for ship owners to save almost 30% on Chinese port tonnage dues when their ships are in port. So for larger vessels that call on there regularly, they can save uh, over $100,000 a year. Another development that we've uh, just announced this week is our electronic oil record book that we're showcasing here at our stand. That uh, also is going to be great for ship owners. Instead of using a paper logbook that is prone to uh, math errors, code errors, um, you could get lost. Uh, there's uh, this software has will give ship owners peace of mind when they're pulling into to port, knowing that their ship maintains accurate information. It also improves uh, transparency and. Uh, and I think it'll be really great for the industry. Uh, secondly, as far as the Liberian Registry, we've opened a couple new offices this year, one in Istanbul and another in Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, so that will really support our ship owners as well. One of the biggest environmental challenges right now is the Ballast Water Management Convention. Uh, it, it's very likely to go to be ratified this year, but there's still a lot of questions as far as whether uh, the Coast Guard will approve any ballast water treatment systems, which is a big issue, and actually being able to install ballast water treatment ship systems on all the ships worldwide. Liberia, just at the last MEPC meeting, submitted a paper with a proposal that perhaps ships could do two ballast water exchanges instead of uh, installing a ballast water treatment system. So we we have a study undergoing right now and we'll submit the results at the next MEPC meeting in October. I've been hearing from a lot of uh, my ship owners that they do find a shortage in marine engineers and electrotechnical officers. And this will be a problem for ship owners if they can't find the people they need to work on board their ships. Uh, our, we actually have a sister company that uh, we built and now operate, uh, Maritime Academy in Ethiopia. It's a public-private partnership where we train uh, marine engineers, ETOs, and ratings. We also uh, are looking to start a deck officer program in 2017. So we're hoping that uh, there's there will be this new source of manning coming out of Africa that could hopefully fill the shortage. Um, I think MLC was really important for seafarers to protect them. Liberia was the first to ratify the MLC uh, convention when it came out. And uh, uh, overall it's been really good. It's leveled the playing field for all ship owners. So they all provide a safe, secure, and uh, provide for welfare of their seafarers. As far as the convention itself, it's pretty much been implemented really well. Uh, uh, with Liberia, we've, had ins we've trained our own inspectors to go on board to, to inspect uh, all our ships to make sure they're compliant with MLC. And uh, the only things that still need to be worked on, uh, I would say, is work and rest hours. The uh, there's varying schools of thought on how to interpret that, so that's something that maybe needs to be clarified a little at the ILO.